Hey, welcome back to the Robin's Nest. I'm at it again. Um, last Monday when we went to Wichita to go to uh, the activity for the kids, I, coming home, I spotted some more mullen out on the highway. So this past, and then it rained for several days. So Saturday, Shania was my driver and she took me out so I could forage and get some more. Um, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, so if you're wanting to try this, you need to uh, research it for yourself, look up the mullen plant, make sure you're, you identify it correctly, and, uh, but, um, I've got it cleaned up, and it's in the sink and water. This is what I do, is I strip the leaves off. And I clean it in water. And then I just rinse them to make sure there's no bugs or dirt. And I lay them over here on this towel. And dry them. Pat dry, just to get most of the water off. And then I throw them on the dehydrator and uh, dry them and then I just store them. I kind of, you know, crumble them up where they're small. I do have tinctures going with them all in, in uh, 80 proof vodka and you, I take uh, one dropper full once a day and then in the evenings I will smoke just a little bit of it in a pipe because I ain't, I ain't doing all that rolling of uh, tobacco and stuff so I just bought me a, a, a pipe and uh, I smoke just a tiny tiny bit of it and man, as I smoke it, I can feel my lungs open up. And I really believe that this is what has kept me from having bronchitis close to pneumonia in the last uh, two summers, three falls. So... And then another thing that I do is they have big stalks and they have little yellow flowers. Um, I take the flowers, I clean them, and dry them, and then I put them in, I actually put them in avocado oil and let it set for six weeks. You want to shake it every day for the first week. After that, no, uh, I probably shake it a couple times a week. And then you strain it out. And if your little ones or yourself get earaches, you can put a little drop in there for the earache. And uh, it helps with earaches. So the first time night that I smoked, this small one, you know, I've got allergies pretty bad. One from allergies, and then two, my smoking. But uh, the first morning when I woke up, my uh, ears had drained. Um, because I had so much gunk in them and a lot of the earwax and stuff came out of them and it was like oh heck yeah that works so anyway I'm over here putting them on my dehydrator trays and I will dehydrate them probably since they're pretty 
fuzzy and thick, I will probably dehydrate them oh, 18 hours. I just go in and check them and I turn the dehydrator off, let them cool down, and, uh, and if they're still not, you know, dehydrated, you want them dried where they're like crunchy, not burnt, but crunchy. Then I'll go ahead and store them in jars. If they're still kind of flimsy and ain't got that dried crunch, then I'll turn them back on. So sometime anywhere from 18 to 24 hours. Anyway, I'm really, really enjoying making my own medicine. Uh, so, but like I said, you need to research because right now I am not on any medication because doing this here, I have gotten myself completely off of all of my prescription medicine. So, anyway, just wanted to share this. So, I will catch you all next time. Have a good day. Bye. All right. Well, I decided to come back and show you what I got. I got a total of 12 uh, trays on the dehydrator. And I wanted to mention something. If you research it and you find that this is something that you would like to try, if you're a smoker and have trouble with bronchitis and asthma and all that, um, just do your research. If you don't have dehydrators, you can leave them on the plant, the leaves on the plants and just, uh, hang them up either in a laundry room, in a garage, in a shed or whatever until they dry. And then you can do the same thing, put it in, but please do your own research. Um, I'm excited. I've been try I've been doing this for a little while now and I needed to make sure I have enough for the winter. Uh, because I what I read is uh, it will get rid of your black lungs from smoking cigarettes. Um, and there has been some people state that I have researched and watched and uh, read on that it actually stopped their cravings for cigarettes and they ended up being non-smokers. So, um, anyway, like I said, do your own research and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.